Hello, my name is Sonia Trix Wharton. I'm a life coach and I'm a therapist, and I can be found on the web at www.soniawharton.com. You can visit my website in order to read articles or to listen to positive affirmations, videos. They're set to really relaxing music, and they help you with any difficulties you might be facing, particularly stress or non-acceptance of yourself or low self-esteem or any difficulties you might be having. Again, it's www.soniawharton.com. Now, today I want to simply talk about the importance of taking care of yourself. If you're like most people, you can quote many articles, you've heard your friends and family, you've learned from others, the things that you need to do to take better care of yourself. Most of us know that we need to be drinking eight, eight ounces of glasses of water per day, that we need to be getting eight hours of sleep, that we need to reduce our stress, lower our cholesterol, eat healthy foods, and exercise. We all have a general idea of the parameters that encompass a healthy life. What I've also noticed is that though most of us know these things, we don't always practice them on a regular basis. You may have a good run, you may be on a mission, it may be a new year and you're exercising and you're eating healthy, but a lot of us fall off the wagon. At one time or another, simply because there's so much available in life to derail you, even if you're on a mission, even if you're really setting your goals. I want to talk to you about the importance of being healthy, and I want to pose to you for a minute the situation that being healthy is not just the absence of being sick. Being healthy encompasses a lot more than the state of your physical body. It's how, you, it's how well you think. It's how you practice spiritual disciplines, whether that's meditation or prayer or whatever it is that you do that helps you to be at peace with yourself. It's about your attitude towards life. It's about, yes, eating right and exercising to the degree possible that you're able to. Because ultimately, being healthy is not about other people. And though we often do it for other people, it really isn't to make other people happy. It's because for the time being that you're here on this earth, you want to maximize your time here. You want to be able to live your life to the fullest. You want to do everything that is possible for you to humanly do. And it's really hard to enjoy life fully in the absence of good health. But even more important than that, it's, it's hard to enjoy life fully if you are not at the most healthy you're ever going to be if your mind isn't right, if you're not practicing any spiritual or meditative disciplines, if your body is unhealthy, if your attitude is poor. Consider taking care of yourself, your gateway to a happier, more positive, more energized life, that you're living life to the fullest, that you're making the most of your time here on earth. That's ultimately what taking care of yourself will lead to. Again, it's not for other people, it's not to impress anyone, but it's so that you can live your life to the fullest and be the happiest that you're capable of being. And that's going to be different for everybody, but you want to be as happy as you yourself are capable of being. And the way to doing that, the gateway to that is taking care of yourself. So next time you read an article or you think to yourself, I really ought to make a different choice for lunch or at least have salad one day a week, if not every day a week, I really ought to try to get some more sleep. I really ought to add more water to my diet, maybe less coffee. Remember, it's not just so that you can say, I ate healthy today or impress someone or make someone happy. It's so that you can live a better life. Think about that next time and let that inspire you to take better care of yourself. Until next time, thank you again for listening. I appreciate your presence and I will see you again.